I'm Yasmin Anand with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 19 for this year, stipulating the appointment of Dr. Munajasa Mohammed Al Kuwari as member in the Constitutional Court for a five year term. The Royal Court announced today that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is heading to Egypt tomorrow at the invitation of President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. The visit will include highlighting bilateral ties, enhancing cooperation in various fields, in addition to discussing topics on common interests. And the Royal Court announced today that His Majesty the King will receive today His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on a visit to Bahrain. The two leaders will hold talks on deep-rooted historic relations binding the two brotherly countries and peoples. They will also discuss the latest regional, Arab and international developments and issues of mutual interest. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, issued a Labour Day circular for this year, stipulating that all the Kingdom's ministries, government agencies, and establishments will remain closed on Sunday, May 1st, to mark Labour Day. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also received today at Gudaibia Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of such meetings that discuss Arab and Islamic issues along uh, with, the, with the security and economic challenges that threaten stability in the region, stressing their keenness to support all efforts aimed at combating terrorism. The Royal Highnesses discussed topics, including in the 13th Islamic Summit held in Turkey, and the Prime Minister praised the speech of the Crown Prince delivered in the summit, highlighting the challenges faced by the Islamic nations and ways to combating them. His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister also received today at Gudaibiyah Palace Shura Council Speaker Mr. Ali Al Saleh, members of the Shura and Representative Councils and State Officials. His Royal Highness lauded the role of the Legislative Authority and their contribution to the National March. He praised the democracy and the freedom of the Kingdom and its role in enhancing unity and cohesion between Bahrainis. He stressed that all efforts should be for the benefit of the country and its people. He also hailed the cooperation between the Government and the Representative Council. The Prime Minister expressed his confidence in the people of Bahrain and their role in contributing to the forward march of the kingdom and facing all attempts that aim to cause unrest and disability to the country. Mr. Saleh thanked His Royal Highness for his continued support and services for the country and its people, affirming that such meetings enhance cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities.
His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudaibia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier. The cabinet hailed the fruitful results of the GCC Moroccan summit held in Riyadh as His Majesty the King headed Bahrain's delegation in that summit aiming at enhancing GCC Moroccan cooperation in various fields. The cabinet also praised the results of the GCC US summit also held in Riyadh aiming at enhancing GCC USA cooperation in the political, military, economic and investment fields. It also welcomed the visit of His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco and his delegation to Bahrain. The cabinet then expressed its congratulations to laborers on the occasion of the International Labor Day and underlined the huge efforts made by laborers in achieving progress of the kingdom. The cabinet affirmed that the freedom of expression is constitutionally guaranteed and noted that social media personnel accounts of people working in the government represent their own perspective and does not represent the government's point of view regarding any topic. The Prime Minister directed to follow up the implementation of services and infrastructure projects in Aisa Town. Then the cabinet discussed the distribution of housing units in Abu Bham and Buri villages. A number of topics were discussed during the meeting. The cabinet approved an agreement between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia in air transport and directed the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication to sign the agreement on behalf of Bahrain's government. The cabinet approved a draft law regarding an agreement between Bahrain's government and the government of Tunisia in the field of air transport and referred it to the Legislative Authority for further studies. The cabinet also approved an agreement between Bahrain and Egypt regarding the avoidance of double taxation and prevention of tax evasion on income. It it referred a memorandum of the Minister of Information to the Ministerial Committee for Social Services, Media and Telecommunications regarding publishing a new sports newspaper. The Cabinet was briefed by the Minister of Energy regarding the launching of a new saving electricity and water campaign. And the Cabinet approved three suggestions of the Representative Council on providing housing services for people with special needs, establishing councils for retirees and building a new rehabilitation hospital. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gudaibia Palace the Russian Governor of St. Petersburg, George Potlavchenko, and his delegation. His Royal Highness welcomed the delegation and stressed the importance of such visits and Bahrain's keenness to enhance cooperation to achieve benefits for both countries. He praised the role of Russia in enhancing the security and stability of the region and hailed the cooperation and coordination between the two countries. He lauded the investment, economic and commercial opportunities that achieve further progress on both countries, calling the business figures of both countries to exchange expertise, conduct further investment and enhance cooperation in industry, energy, technology and tourism. St. Petersburg's governor praised His Royal Highness' keenness to strengthen bilateral cooperation and hailed the progress of Bahrain in all fields. He also expressed keenness to strengthen relations with Bahrain and form partnership that will result in positive outcomes for both sides. The Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received the Russian Governor of St. Petersburg, George Poltavsenko, the Capital Governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, and Russian Ambassador to Bahrain, Vigif Garaev, attended the meeting. 
Poltavchenko heads a delegation of various Russian government and private organizations. The minister welcomed the guest, highlighting the importance of ongoing cooperation and coordination to promote the good ties between the two friendly countries. He said the visit is part of the successful visit of His Majesty the King to Russia in February. He highlighted the efforts of the interior ministry to promote security and general order and safety of the public, as security is the foundation of secure investment, environment and economic projects. The meeting discussed bilateral relations too. And now we turn to business news with you, Danielle. Thanks very much, Yasmina. Very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,116.9 points, a decrease of 2.68 points below yesterday's closing level. Trading in the commercial bank and services shares dipped, although investors traded mainly in the services sector, representing 59% of total share value traded. In total, there were 30 transactions today, composed of 722,724 shares worth 156,826 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 